In 2014, Santa made his list, he checked it twice, and found five developers most worthy of receiving presents. So while you recover from your present opening hangover, find out what developers were the nicest this year. Ubisoft. Ubisoft is like the kid that hits his sister and lies to his parents about it, but turns his behavior around in time for Christmas, so he gets a present. You know, no coal. There's always room on Santa's nice list. To make up for the Assassin's Creed Unity blunder, Ubisoft gave everyone who purchased the game Dead Kings DLC for free. For season pass holders, they get one of the following games for free. The Crew, Far Cry 4, Watch Dogs, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, Rayman Legends, or Just Dance 2015. Good on you, Ubisoft. Telltale Games. Telltale is so hot right now. Between The Walking Dead Season 2 and The Wolf Among Us, Telltale Games has had an excellent 2014. While we haven't played Tales from the Borderlands, the first episode of Game of Thrones, a Telltale game series, was excellent, with dire consequences and plenty of shocking moments. Telltale Games has done Game of Thrones excellently, and we are in for an amazing season finishing up in 2015. Bioware. Bioware's Dragon Age Inquisition is a Game of the Year candidate, as it should be. They created a huge game full of choices, consequences, a great storyline, and intense combat. Dragon Age Inquisition completely redeems the franchise from Dragon Age 2. Blizzard While we look forward to the future of Blizzard with Overwatch, this year was a huge success for them. Hearthstone is one of the best games you can find, and one that tons of gamers are playing and loving. Then there's the new World of Warcraft expansion, Warlords of Draenor, which might be the best to hit the game yet. I know a lot of people that have went back to WoW because of it, and say it's the best WoW has been since Vanilla. Overall, Blizzard has done some of their best work this year and should be rewarded handsomely by Santa because of it. Nintendo Super Smash Bros, Bayonetta 2, Hyrule Warriors, and Mario Kart 8. The first two are serious Game of the Year candidates and have made the Wii U a viable, awesome console to own. Nintendo has really stepped up its game this year, and next year looks to be impressive as well. The 3DS continues to have an awesome library of games with Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, Persona Q, Fantasy Life, Super Smash Bros, and Tomodachi Life all releasing in 2014. 2014 may be remembered as the year of Nintendo. What did you think about our nice list? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.